Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Instructional Technology Solutions with your host, Animal Pacheco. Today, I'm talking to Brett Koff, one of the co-founders of Remind 101. So how are you doing, Brett? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. How's the, how's the weather in San Francisco today? It is beautiful. Probably a little bit nicer than where you are. I think you're in the Midwest somewhere, right? I'm in Manhattan, Kansas, the little apple. It's, it's yeah. nice to be. Yeah, it's, it's gorgeous out here. It's like 70 and sunny, so I have nothing to complain about. That's great. Yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, so I started Remind 101 with my brother David a few years ago uh, because when I was a student at Michigan State, I had no idea how to manage all of my classes, and I was studying agricultural economics. So long story short, my brother and I decided to start the company, made a ton of mistakes, learned a lot, um, and uh, we're doing we're doing well out here in California now. Great, that's good stuff. So tell us, what is Remind 101? Sure. And, and, and what does it does uh, for educators? Sure. So Remind 101 is a website that makes it safe and easy for teachers to communicate with their students and parents via text messaging. So all a teacher has to do is sign up on our website or our iPhone app, and it should take less than two minutes. And um, we give them a code and a number. And so you as a teacher, your code might be at ABC, and then you have a regular 10-digit phone number. And all you have to do is show that code and number to your students, and then they opt in via text message with their phones. And you can type a message then anytime after, like, don't forget to study, or a great job on your assignments, or parents turning your permission slips. And when you hit the send button, it will distribute as a text message to the students and parents. So it's very easy. It should take less than five minutes to set up. Uh, and it's safe because well, the teacher never shows students their personal phone number, and the students never see the teacher's number. So we assign every teacher a Remind 101 phone number. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. It does. Yeah. So the whole app is predicated around safe communication between teachers, students, and parents. That's great. So how do you see Remind 101 fitting into the educational market today? What is your vision for, for your app and the web service? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, right now, all we're focused on is creating really good communication products for teachers, students, and parents that make it safe. So, I don't know, in the entire education landscape, what's just important to us is that uh, we're making it safe and easy for our teachers to communicate uh, easily. So they don't, have, they don't necessarily have to ask an administrator if they can use the product. They could just sign up in a few minutes, start using it, and, and move forward. You know, that, that's very nice because, as you say, you know, educators are busy and, you know, you, you're just basically providing with something that anybody can use and it doesn't have a real big technological curve. So it right. Be there's, no, and there's no manual for this. Uh, we've done our best to make it super duper easy and if you feel like it's not easy, uh, our support team is always very responsive to helping and working with uh, teachers to make it even easier. So feel free to reach out if you try it. That's great. Now, you have the iPhone app and iPod app in the iTunes store. Do you mm -hmm. have any plans to release a native iPad app or an Android app? Of your yes. Product? Yes. First, it will be an Android app. That is coming out in the next few weeks. Uh, and then an iPad app we're definitely going to be launching. Right now, we, we, we have an app for the iPhone that works on the iPad, but it's on a smaller screen. It's not customized to the iPad. So we're working on that as we speak. But the next release is just going to be Android, which... We're really excited about because teachers have been asking for it for months. Okay. So in order to use the iPhone app on the iPad, teachers just have to press the 2X to make it full size then? Um, I actually don't know if they can maximize that. I don't have an iPad. Uh, our developers do, so I've never actually tried to maximize it. But right now it will show up on the screen like the size of an iPhone on the iPad. Um, I'll have to check that, though. It's a good question. For pretty much all iPhone apps that you play on your iPad, that's, that's really all you have to do. They have a feature in iOS mm -hmm. where you see a 2X button in the lower right-hand corner, and mm -hmm. when you press it, it makes the app, basically it makes that marquee for your iPhone a uh, full screen on the iPad. Oh, okay. So great. Well, great. You're teaching me a lesson. No, no, that is not a lesson. It's just uh, full for thought. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> that's, that is a, a feature in iOS. So what about premium features. Do you have any plan on offering premium features? Yeah, so eventually we're going to charge uh, parents or schools for the product, but right now it's 100% free to teachers. It will always be free to teachers, and uh, we're not charging right now just because we want to 
really focus on creating a great product for our teachers, students, and parents, and, and grow right now. So your plan is to make it free for education for teachers, so it will always yeah. be free for teachers. I'm on the record saying that. Okay, that's good yeah. stuff. Yeah. So how do, how do people get in contact with you, like if they want to provide feedback, uh, request new features? Uh, do you guys have a Twitter account that they can follow? Yes, yes, I have a slew of things to tell you. So one, we are on Twitter all the time. It's just at Remind101. Uh, we have a Facebook fan page, and so that's just facebook.com slash remind101. Um, we blog all the time about mobile learning and using mobile products in the classroom. And then uh, we also have a support team who handles any problems that you guys as teachers have. So if you just email contact at remind101.com, that will get sent directly to our support team, and we do our best to answer that within less than 24 hours. And the final one, and then I'll stop, is my personal email. It's just b-r-e-t-t. -T at Remind101.com, and I'll be more than happy to answer everything personally for you. Well, that's great, Brett. Uh, once again, thanks for giving me the time to do this with you and for telling everybody what Remind101 is. Uh, I, I think you guys got a knockout product. It, it definitely solved a big problem for teachers, yep. as it solved your problem when you was a student. Yeah. So that is that is good stuff. Uh, I'll make sure to stay in touch with you so you guys can keep us posted on our future updates to your app and the website. And once again, thanks. Thank you.